Danny Jackpot. You've had quite a run manipulating bosses and ruling with your now former team, DCWL Domination. But let me be clear, your old tactics aren't going to work here in DCWL's new era. I'm in charge now, and you won't get into my head like you did Ed McMahon. Elon, you think you can just come in here and change the game? My resume speaks for itself. I've been the backbone of this industry for nearly two decades. I've earned my special treatment through blood, sweat, and tears. I don't need to manipulate a boss or rely on a team to prove my worth. I appreciate your contributions to wrestling, Danny. Truly, I do. But times have changed, and so have the rules. You need to show some respect to the wrestlers in the back. They're the future, and they deserve the spotlight just as much as you do. Respect? I've earned respect every time I stepped into that ring. I thought you and guys like Nick Gemini were intelligent men, but I guess I was wrong. Nick Gemini, who lets you use his piece of shit roster, is nothing more than a glorified Jeff Jarrett booking himself to success because he can't cut it otherwise. Funny you mentioned Nick Gemini. You see, in our negotiations, he agreed to let DCWL use his roster on one condition, that I put you in a match with him at DCWL's first click review back, Revenge Reckoning. So get ready, Danny, as you're going to face him in a hardcore match. Show us all that you're as good as you say you are. Nick Gemini wants a match with me? Fine, but remember this, Elon. When I step in that ring, it's not just about proving myself. It's about reminding everyone why I'm the legend in this business. Nick Gemini won't stand a chance. And you'll see, once again, why Danny Jackpot is the name that dominates. Hello there, everyone. This is Mr. Brass. And what an interesting development that we've gotten so far. That With Danny Jackpot and Elon Musk butting heads and... We got a huge match for the next CP, P, CPV slash pay-per-view, whatever you want to call it these days. Revenge Reckoning. And that's not to distract from this, our current match, which is a number one contenders match for the Cruddyweight title. The winner of this will be going to Revenge Reckoning to take on Daniel Bradson. And to me, it should be an interesting match. It is Thanos versus Spike Lee, with Spike Lee coming out now. And yeah, I mean, it's gonna. I mean, Thanos has been having a pretty dominant run in any call league that I've Fight. seen him in. And now he lock up in. Ooh, an eye rake. Man, that really took a lot out of Spike Lee. He grabs him and wait a minute, punches. He's Oh, damn! I have to remind you that Thanos does have the Infinity Gauntlet. Again, again, the, the gauntlet's bam! Another punches! Neck breaker. Man, Thanos is dominating. Elbow drops. Elbow drops. And, oh! Jumping, like, running elbow drop. Irish whip and that arm dragon man Thanos is dominating Spike Lee's not getting anything in now guillotine choke Thanos is choking out Spike Lee Spike Lee's not Spike Lee might be out he might be Thanos is just holding in the lock What's he, and he lets go of it Spike Lee is getting up he's trying to wait he got it he managed to block an attack and oh another break the eyes. Really focusing with that gauntlet and again these punches. A lot of them are with that gauntlet on. But the, the infinity stones in them. And oh damn what a big close line. Again a second one. A third one. And wait, it looked like Lee was, could have been on the verge of knocking out, and wait, roll up and, oh! Thanos said not yet. We thought about ending it right there, but nope, and wait, uh, God damn, someone stopped the match! Spike Lee getting all these punches, and he's standing up, he's, tr he's resilient, and oh, again, with the eye rate. This is not. Oh man! Thanos is just taking the ton and again that clothesline to the back of the head. The second one. And three. 
three. And oh, oh man, Spike Lee, he's dangling. And oh man, he is out. No match. Thanos is the number one contender for the Cruddy Way title at Revenge Reckoning. And what a dominating performance. Spike Lee, I mean, you got to give him credit for something. He did try to stand up, and he did manage to call back an attack from Thanos, but he obviously couldn't take it longer. Man, this is, that was just awful. I can't believe it. And now we have Olivia Benson out here, and she's going to be delivering a promo, you know, to introduce herself. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it's an honor to be here tonight. For years, I've dedicated my life to fighting for justice and standing up for those who can't stand up for themselves, and now I'm bringing that same fire, that same passion to this ring. I've seen the worst that humanity has to offer, and I know what it means to never back down, to fight with every ounce of strength you have. Tonight, I'm here to remind each and every one of you that no matter how tough the battle, no matter how fierce the opponent, I'll never give up. I fight for what's right, I fight for justice, and I fight for everyone. Together, me and my friends are unstoppable. So I'm going to get out there and show the world what I'm made of, and let's make this night one to remember. This is more than just matches, this is a statement. I'm going to give it everything I've got, and let's leave it all in the ring. Thank you, and let's make some history. Oh man, what a good... I mean, what a good introduction to Olivia Benson here. And I have to remind people that she's going to be taking on Joan of Arc at Revenge Reckoning in a special referee match with Duke Nukem as the special guest referee and now we have a tag team match with Pulp Fiction taking on Selma and Patty Bouvier and yeah this is going to be an interesting match I mean we have seen the introductory promo for Pulp Fiction and they were serious they wanted a fight to a fight and looks like, I mean, don't get, like, Patty and Summer, they may be smokeaholics, but they have tenure on their side, and, I mean, they're a lot tougher than they look. But, how are Patty and Summer going to stamp against Pulp Fiction? What a hit to the head. And... Now, Irish Whip into the corner. And, ooh, it hits her. She's on the apron now. And a chop right to the chest. One. And now, look, all this chaos is rolling right into the ring. Vincent and Jules, Patty and Summer are all fighting at it. And outside Jules is taking on taking on them and a minute what's happening in the oh right to Jules nice. well there's no dis there's no disqualifications for for low blows in DC I gotta say that One. oh man and they're both going for these Two. nut shots and again three three times on Four. Jules Patty and ooh another low blow. Patty and Vincent are having down in the ring, whereas Selma and Drews are on the outside fighting. And that put a, that sleeper hold Selma and Drews, and they're fighting on the outside. And we have this action in the ring, and oh, what a bubble bomb by Vincent on the Patty. And ooh, what a lock in. 
and blow, oh no, and blow, blow again, man, they're really getting those again, now, armbar by Patty on to Vincent, and wait a minute, a big finishing move powerbomb by, by Selma on to Jules, and one. again, another one, two, man, Three. They're not even the legal people. That's Patty and and Vincent Vega. And punches. Vincent Thompson. I gotta say, Patty and some are putting up a great fight in their own person team. And another low blow. I mean, they're getting a lot of nut shots in to do it, but I mean, hey, these, the referee's discretion and the referee seems to not mind nut shots. Could be a fetish or something on this part, but hey, no judging from me. And now, again, and oh, no, no, and now, going for it again, and Patty is going for her own finishing move power bomb, and boom! And Vincent just stood right up, and now sleeper hole drop, pinfall. That could be it. One, One two, two, and no. Vincent Vega kicks out. How impressive is that? Two finishing moves to Vincent Vega, and he kicks out of both of them. Props to him and back ring. backdrop and low blow trying to go. For Patty and oh, now Patty's showing that she's the one that can do that. And hit it, roll up. One, one, two, two, and no, Vincent Vega kicks out of it. And now he hyped up again. What's gonna do? A drop and now grabs him. And going for it again. Another finishing move. Power ball. Pinfall. One, One, two, two kick two, out two. again. Three finishing moves right on to Vincent Vega, and he has kicked out of all of them. And a big punch to the face of Patty. And wait a minute, oh, he's going for a close on. That's the first one to the one. And now Jules, Jules finally breaks it up. He's trying to help him defend his partner. I uh, got Selma attacking Vincent. And oh, and Jules trying to defend him. Now Vincent and Patty fighting in a minute. They're trying to press Selma down. Sleeper, that whole sleeper drop on the floor, and Jules was almost like I think Jules may have been out there. She woke him up. I don't know how good that was. It would have been helpful, more helpful if she would let him go down. And Patty's getting her ass kicked right now by Vincent. I mean, I gotta gotta see, give it props. I mean, Patty and Selma are putting up a decent fight, and they're really throwing everything at him. Now Jules was on the apron and I think he was trying to help out his friend Vincent by grabbing at her. He could have hit low blow again, but oh punch. Again punch on his and now, and now Vincent What's he gonna do? He grabs her and Oh what a big cutter! The finishing move cutter. And I think she was out of it. Wait a minute, pin. One, One two, two, and three. Pin ball. Someone couldn't get in on time. Pulp Fiction wins. And well, you gotta give credit for the There's a great durability factor in this. And, I mean, Joan of Arc is gonna be introducing herself later on in the show, too.
And I mean, this is all, this was a great fight. I'm so glad to have gotten to see that. Shows Megas of durability. And next match on the card is Flash Gordon versus Leon Messi. Now, this may be controversial to people, but I'm actually not that much of a... I've really watched a lot of Flash Gordon, nor am I really familiar with Messi's work. I have heard great things about both of them, though, and it should be a good fight. And But let's just give props out to that last match, where we had Patty and Selma... Like, they literally threw everything at Pulp Fiction, but Pulp Fiction was just done with them and just kept striking back at them and taking all their hits. And that was not even to say what happened beforehand, where Thanos completely dominated Spike Lee, knocking him out. And But let's just get on this match with an Insiguri onto the yeah, Messi. And oh what a big spinning wheel kick. And drop the right leg. And back right here. And another backbreaker by Flash Gordon onto Messi. One. I see him to the outside. Two. And the ref's count is starting. Three. Four. Five. And grabs him. Nope. Now gets a hold of him. And now Iris with reversed. And oh, what a big just pop up drop. Seeing him flat on his face. And now I think to the back. And. to the back again and oh a big pushback sending down. I mean Leah Messi is considered the GOAT in soccer. Very talented man. I like I said I'm not really much of a soccer fan and oh what a big kick. Right to the, the face. And you have to take it that with a soccer based offense I mean with a soccer background that Leon Messi's a lot of Leon Messi's strongest attacks are going to come with his feet if I were Flash Gordon I would try to target that yeah, ooh a big splash Flash Gordon is also no slouch as he is an adventurer he takes on a lot of challenges and ooh, shoulder thrust and just keep going down with the Messi. I mean it's, it seems to be pretty even. And, oh, it looks like he's taking my word for it, going after the legs. And he goes behind and finish German suplex. Pinfall. One, One two, two count, and kick two. out. Messi kicked out of that one. Chops, chops, and oh, what a hit to the back. And Messi certainly is in trouble now, and Flash Gordon is taking advantage of it. Now, pinball again. One, one two, two, count no, two. Count two. And arm ringer, and Grabs him in the back and oh what a Russian leg sweep. Hit pinball tip again. One, One two, two count, kick out. Two. And now Robin, Oh what a roll out by by Flash Gordon. He's, Really avoiding these shots and takes him down and again a splash this time to the legs. 
Pinball again. One, two, two count, two. kick out. I think Flash Gordon's strategy is he's trying to wear out Leon Messi, which, I mean, that is a strategy, and I've pinned him. One, One two, two count, kick out two. again. I mean, the frequent pinball attempts are, I would assume, just because every time he has to kick out, he has to exert a little bit of energy. And he picks him up, and like a top, and boom, he's going for the Mongolian chop, and he ends up getting blocked and out Irish whip. And, oh, what a spinning heel kick. Pinball, one. Two, count kick two. out again. Messi is is really going the distance. And now, oh, what big punches! I mean, you know, I bring up Messi's leg work, and I mean, it is phenomenal. But I mean, it's not like Flash Gordon is any slouch. He does. He does have a lot of abilities and he is trained. Now Irish whip into the rope and ooh, a hit at the elbow. And now back breaker now Messi went up to the top and oh he's going for a splash but flash put the legs of in one, one, for one, two, two count that be, two. Uh, and Man. Now picks him up and balcony arrow. Standing balcony arrow. That is a over splash. Pinball again. One, two, kick out. And grabs him and double underhook. Oh, tiger driver. And now, oh, what a heel hook. Yeah, is Flash Gordon going to tap out? No. And back. Grabs him. Picks him up. And now, again, Tiger Driver. This time, Pinball one, goes in. One, two. two. No. That was a finisher as well. And, oh, what a hit to the leg. Really pulling back on the head of Flash Gordon. And another back jump. And he's like he's, he's calling for it again. Grabs him. And one, 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 two, two. and no. Flash Gordon still hanging in there. That up oh, is blocked. I love that back in half. Now Flash Gordon's going to hit to the back, sending the Messi down. Oh, we're going to take over. Picks him up. Grabs him and hit him up behind. Trying to suplex pin. One, two, two, two. count two. Bridging German suplex pin to be exact. Grabs a man, ooh, he's going right to the face. Man, I hit him in weight. Pinball, one, one two, two, three. three. Pinball. Holy shit. We all mess with him. Put that injury right to the face. I mean, I told you before, Messi is well known for his leg work in soccer. So, he must have put all, every bit of that into that leg and hit that in Suguri. must have knocked out Flash Gordon or stunned him man what a surprise ending and our next match is going to be Wonder Woman taking on Ariana Grande and I mean just to get my own biases out here I'm not really I mean I like more of the animated Wonder Woman, the the more DC 
Woman. Wonder Woman. I'm not that much of a fan. And Ariana Grande, I can't really stand her music for a lot. I mean, I, I don't necessarily think she's a bad singer. I'm just, it's just not me. I don't like, really like her music. For the most part. And... start off and they're just building up in time to the game just feel each other out now we have it and it gets her into that end of the last minute. And oh a slap at first and then it comes up and oh an eye poke. I mean, I can't really get over Wonder Woman 1984 and that whole storyline that they do with the man. And now, ooh, back break. Grabs him. And for a circle and stretch like this. And now slaps. And they're going to for the legs, but Wonder Woman has been just fucking, oh, red right the eyes. Like I said, referee's discretion. Apparently, eye pokes, and again, eye poke. Eye pokes and low blows are fine. Now, Irish whip, and. Ooh, what a. Hip toss. And now, oh, just bouncing her head right off the mat. That punches. Such an. Again, with the eye poke. Yeah, she's gonna be spamming that eye poke like how Patty and Selma were su spamming the low building. Now, through the corner, punching one woman on Ariana Grande. Grabs him in. Ooh, and a chop to the chest. And, ooh, a shoulder thrust. Shoulder thrust. Shoulder thrust really good right there. Now, wait a minute. Irish whip into the corner. Slap in. Slap is countered into another slap by Wonder Woman and her A variation of it. And oh, what a hit right to the leg taking Ariana Grande. And I think once again. Low blow count. And oh, another. I mean, I don't know how wise it is for Ariana Grande to keep trying to trade blows with one of them. She's far more trained. And she she has much more combat training. She trades blows with Superman and Batman and the rest of the Justice League. And another surfboard stretch. So I don't think it's wise for Ariana Grande to go into a brawl match. And I think maybe using speed and maybe using some mind manipulation might be better tactic. And now punches, punches, slaps all three blocks. Going for the hit to the leg. And now, man, they keep going. spamming that. Like I said, eye pokes and low blows, and again the eye poke. Now, take down, hit to the back. And, and, and again, it's occurring, and I didn't do the last match. And again, another circle stretch, really stretching out. I mean, the strength, speed, and everything advantage has to go to Wonder Woman. Um, with Ariana Grande, I mean, the only thing I can think of that maybe she could do is she had, she can try manipulating Wonder Woman's mind, but I don't even know how well that would do. I mean, Ariana Grande is not the sharpest tool. Now, look at them. They're, 
we're being engaged in a ton of basic one woman saying, I can do what you do, and she can, and maybe when we're walking out, a double scratch on the Wonder Woman. And oh, we're a spinning heel kick. We've been seeing that a lot in matches tonight. Mostly from Flash Gordon. Low blow counter, and oh, what a big slap slap here on the down. A stop. And hit to the right leg. And now Ariana Grande throws one to the One. Two. And wait, three. Oh, three count. Four. And he made the back of the ring. And oh, what a big hit to the face. Drop to the leg. Oh, a low blow. I mean, we've had that a lot. Now, Ariana is favoring her leg. And that's not going to be any good. And now, wait, surfboard stretch again. I mean, Wonder Woman has been going after that leg. And now it looks like the damage is catching up to Ariana Grande. Who knows what which the score may pinball. One, One, two, two count two. Oh. Blow blow. Irish whip. And. Oh, what a monkey flip. Heel hook. Not heel hook. Spinning heel kick. And present again. But trying to go for that leg, and now Boston Crab by Ariana Grande on the Wonder Woman. And Irish Whip. And good back body drop. And now just clapping at her. Like I said, Wonder Woman has seemingly a lot of advantages in this, and Ariana Grande is worse for wear. And now back on and now one of the other oh what another big heel spinning heel kick and it's right to the back of the head and then, oh I'm going to go for the to stop and now oh low blow once again grab a heart and pull it hit to the back of the head it doesn't work and now here it can run again and now another turn again. Oh, going right for that leg again. I mean, that's a smart move by Ariana Grande. A smart move by Wonder Woman. Oh, uh, man. I'm falling for it tonight. And now, take over. And, ooh, a slap. Just putting Wonder Woman on her back. And backbreaker. Grabs him in. Oh, a kiss. And DDT. Taking her down. One woman. And spinning heel kick once again. Slap. And it's all Wonder Woman right now. And still going for that leg. Oh, that heel hook was blocked. And Irish whip. And oh, a push right to the outside. One. Like a sumo push right to the outside. And now the count's beginning. Three. Well, at least we know we have four. some. Oh, no, oh, blow. Hey, we're turning the favor from what I can see. Thick. And that oh, one. springboard missed. Eight. Eight. And man, I think that was the closest you can see that. Oh, hit right to the left again. I mean, you can say that was the closest that Ariana Grande got to winning. That one fatal, that one era where one of them botched that lion salt to the outside. 
And now, wait a minute, pinfall. One, two, two three. three. Yeah. That schoolboy roll-up win gets Wonder Woman the win. And, well, I mean, I think Wonder Woman had to do that at that point because she did miss that lion salt to the outside. She made that move. She wanted to wrap this up. Like I said, she had the advantages going into it, but Ariana Grande did put up a fight. And so, yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, tonight I fight not just for victory, but for honor, for truth, and for the spirit of the warrior within us all. I stand before you not as a saint of the past, but as a warrior of the present. I have faced armies, I have faced doubt, and tonight I face my greatest challenge yet. But know this, my heart burns with the fire of justice, and my spirit is unbreakable. At revenge, reckoning with that sexist Duke Nukem as rep, I will take on Olivia Benson, but that's for later. To my opponents for now and into the future, know that I do not fight out of hate, but out of love for this sport. And for every single one of you who believes in the power of courage and conviction. Together, I will show the world that no matter the odds, a pure heart and a determined soul can overcome anything. For honor, for glory, for the people, I will write a new chapter in history, one of bravery, strength, and undeniable victory. Let's make history together. And, wow, what a good promo by Joan of Arc. Really a fan of hers. It was shame how she went out in her in history, but she's back. And now we have our last match, and it's going to be a number one contendership match for Hadouken's International Championship. And it's Captain Pollution versus Trap Jump. Captain Pollution of Captain Planet Bane and Trap Draw of the man thing and I mean these are both look both of these guys are not known for being the best people and they're going to take it out tonight and to see who can come up to be the winner and take on Hadouken at the win record and go up to constant I mean I don't really know who to say that I, I can go for. I mean, Captain Planet himself is deceptively powerful. And now, ooh, what a hit. And Trap Draw, I mean, we all know the He-Man universe is pretty crazy. You have He-Man fighting Superman. And now chop the chest. Little blue block. And so, I mean, I mean, you can make, I mean, you can make arguments either way for And this is our main event for the night. Net breaker by Captain Pollution. And first one to the outside. Two. And six for the night. Three. Oh, four. And it, it looks like it doesn't look like Trap Jaw was phased that much. She just took it. And now, fast suplex. I mean, like I said, both these men are pretty evil dudes in their own right. So, I mean, they're going to go out all, all stuff. And now, punch him. Oh, another punch him. Throw, I believe. I mean, we've been seeing a lot of the leg being favored in these matches, which, I mean, it's not a bad strategy. You take out the leg, you take out the ability for your opponent to run, you take out a lot of their speed, and now, one! Trap Jaw's going in! Two! Oh, another, like, another Three. mistake of the night. You see the leg Boston Cap, Wonder Five. Woman, late in, before in the show, Six. she missed it, and she, in my opinion, Seven. she had to it and try to finish the match as quick as you could afterwards. And it's, it's, I mean, it's early on in this match. We did have a squash match with Thanos and Spike Lee before. So, I don't know. Oh, driving his knee right to the mat. And Captain Pollution 
Oh, fast suplex on the trap jaw. And I mean, Hadouken is also a bad man. I mean, he's taken on Mike Tyson. Even beat Mike Tyson before. The baddest man on the planet. And so, I mean, Hadouken is nothing to sneeze at. He is a very impressive talent. He's our international champion in the field of reason. And over oh, a And oh, a low blow by a trap jaw onto Captain Pollution. Now, Irish Whip. And. Ooh, what a Hurricane Rana. Showing some athletic ability. And we have to also know that Captain Pollution is a, like, as his name implies, he's a polluter. He's like, full, he's like, full of shit, like, you know, dark and filthy in some sense. He's like, you know, he kind of goes around and stuff, trying to pollute the planet. And now, oh, I'm going for that. I think he's going for like a diving shoulder block on the outside end. This is an outrageous suplex. And that's got Captain Pollution next to the floor. Big Sabat kick right to the chest. And Trap Jaw. Oh, he's running. Trying to take it off, I guess. Got Irish with the first. And nope. Got countered by Captain Pollution. He's going for those kicks to the side. And now the verse and oh no, 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 no. And now it looks like Trap Doll is gonna call for it. Grabs him and snowplow right on to Captain Peace. So this could be it. One, One two, two, three, three. Pin Trap Jaw is going to take on Hadouken at Revenge Reckoning. Man, what a match. Man, I can't believe how well this match went. I mean, like I said, both men are equally bad, really. And noticeably strong. And now Trap Dog is going to be taking on Hadouken. Man. And wait a minute. Hadouken, speaking of the devil, oh, he hits him with the belt. Hits him down again. What an unprovoked attack. He's trying to weaken, weaken him before the show. And, oh, uh, Trap Jaw trying to get some offense in and fight back, but he ends up getting Russian Lake Street right on it. And now, wait a minute. That finisher by Hadouken. And, oh, get that finisher right on the, right on the floor, right on, right on the belt, I believe. Close by, at least in the straps. And now, wait a minute, those steps. Oh, two. Seven shots. Man, he grabs him. And now, oh, he takes it up. Oh my God, right on the steps. Oh God, now he got the belt. And he's raising him in the air. He did it. What the hell? Trapped all, he just stood up. Punched him, but he's still standing. Oh, it's him again. Man, Hadouken, what a fucking coward you are. How to attack him. We'll see you later at the next pay-per-view. Derby Extreme is out.